So happy sex, bitches. Before we get into this video, I'd first like to say thank you for the support on my coming back video. It's it's really cool that you guys commented, and I'd like to just say thank you. But before we get into this, I thought it would might be a lot of fun to look back on some of my old archived videos of years and years yonder ago. More specifically, the one that I got arrested in for playing a video game. <laughs> Now, before I, 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 we quickly go through this and then my own commentary now, uh, let me just prefix this with, I'm pretty sure I know which neighbor called the cops on me. She's probably like a 60-something-year-old Filipino that lived right across the road from me. And I think it's her because, one, she came from a country that there's bandits and shit in. And Filipino people do not go into the mountains unless they want to get mugged or join the bandits. Like, even even Filipino people that come to Canada look at the mountains and go, I ain't going there. Fuck no. No mountain passes, no nothing. Like, I've got friends with Filipino wives, and they're like, yeah, I don't go to the mountains, even in, in, in BC, because that's where the bandits hang out, which is not completely correct, but whatever. <laughs> so... I'm pretty sure I, I, I know who who called the cops on me, but it's all well and good. Um, yeah, let's just get into this. So when I first made this video, I was so excited that something amazing happened like this, that I was going to get lots of views and shit from it, which was, which I did. It's at like 31,000 views right now. But I was in such a hurry to upload it that I made so many spelling mistakes in it. It was just ridiculous. So without any further ado, Let's just jump into this. Away from you. Let's go. Okay, this is the first time I've ever played oh, this, this game. Starting out right now. And I had no idea yep. what it is that oh, I was doing, yeah. and Charles was the murderer. Yeah. And he was going after us hard. Uh, what are the other controls? This is the first time I've ever played this game. Oh, oh and you know. space bars also pull down. Ah! Yeah, yeah, I scream like that. When I'm, like, really into something, and I, I love to get into video games, oh, like... Shit. Immerse myself. I definitely just get all excited and scream like that. VR would be a very bad idea for me. I'd shit my pants. Let alone a little scream. It'd just be ah! <laughs> Ding dong, no dong for you. So we have to start the generators. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, but no, I uh, don't know where they're. No, don't listen to him. We definitely gotta start the generators. <laughs> Charles is like, no, no, man. You you just sit there and wait for me to come get you, and fudge that duck. That's definitely good. If I can find you, then I'll. This is a really fun game. Like, unfortunately, there's not enough people to ever really play big rounds with. You're gonna get like this little bar when you're repairing it. You yeah. have to hit space bar. Yeah. Oh, oh Jesus, you're right there. Uh, he, they alerted him, they alerted him. <laughs> yep. Run! Yeah, that's probably probably about when she um, called the cops on me, when I just started screaming, run, split up, don't hurt me, get away from me. Oh, no, I guess she already did it the first time, because the cop's already there. Now, what I don't understand is that the cop hears what's going on. He knows I'm sitting in this room doing something at this point i'm not running around the house trying to get out stuff smashing shit like that so i'm not really sure what's going through the cop's mind right now one day i'll have to track this dude down and be like hey man do you remember me do you remember that one day don't you be talking to me like the cop hears all of that so the, the dog hears the cop outside and I'm so like in the zone of like this is some decent content I'm uh, gonna keep playing this so I didn't even hear him say it's the police come outside sort of shit come out of there and he's at the front door and my front door is not the front door of the house my front door is like the side door Police? Hang on, guys. The police are actually here. Give me a second. Oh, the police yeah, are fine. actually here. Yes, they uh, were. Actually, it was one dude, and that. he did not want me to look at him. 
Like, for whatever reason, he's like, turn away, turn away, turn away, do not look at me, turn away. Like, I don't know what he thought I was going to do if I just tried to look at him and speak to him like a human being. But, yeah, he wasn't having it. He, like, for a second, I thought I was going to get shot in the fucking back because this dude was just, like, being ignorant. And so when, when I was outside... I was I was I was trying to like, do something like this to try and talk to him, and he's like, "No, look away, look away, look away." I was like, "Fuck, dude, come on, just this is like enough, stop." But he handcuffs me, asks who's in the house. I tell him it's just me, and I'm playing a video game, and and then my dog, and then he asks to come in, and I'm like, "Why? Why? Why? Why do you want to come in?" Uh, because he's got to make sure everything's safe and hunky dory. Well, fudge. I mean, I got no real legal reason to let you in, but obviously you really want to, and I kind of have to sort of let you, or I probably have to go downtown and ask, answer a whole bunch of stupid questions. So, he says to me, I don't care about your weed. I just need to take a look around. And I go, fine. If you really don't care, fine. Keep in mind at this point, I also work in a hydroponic shop. And he asks me, so where do you work? And I told him, in a hydroponic shop. And his response was, of course you do. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Of course you do. How many people actually do you deal with on a daily basis that work in hydroponic shops? But for whatever reason, he took offense to that. He walked me up the side steps and into my house with handcuffs on. So I, like, I, he, sorry, he had to open the doors for me because obviously I couldn't. And we eventually walk through the house and get to the back room. And this is, this is when we come in here. Hey guys, hang on a second, two seconds. It's still handcuffed. And I'm like, oh look, I'm just going to show off the handcuffs. Like, those are real. And I'm trying to... I'm trying to unplug everything so he can actually talk to Charles. And uh, I think it's Lucky. Lucky's the other dude. And he unhandcuffs me and then rehandcuffs me. What am I going to do? And there's Charles. Charles is just like skulking around in front of me. Good girl. Good girl. Like, I don't know what the hell this dude is, is thinking of or why he's doing this. Hand re handcuffs me. Look at that. Bullshit. Hey guys. Hey. Hey, see, hey, I love the officer. Are you back? No, no, hey there. literally. There's an officer in this room right now. Say hello. Hi. Yeah. Hi there. They're so confused. Wow. And the dude. Why are we saying hi to a police officer? Because someone heard my screams of bloody murder and called the cops on me. So the neighbor heard my screams of bloody murder. Right now. And there's Charles. Hey, Charles, get away from me! There. The cop at this point is just is, is just disgusted. Like he is so mad at Charles for doing that. It was hilarious. Let's watch the rest of it. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. I, I, got, I threw my leg up on, on top of the the table there, trying to space bar it with my toes while I'm getting unhandcuffed. <laughs> and the cop just hates Charles. <laughs> Say bye to the next officer. Look, I I didn't even know Charles fucking said that. Hi. Maybe I'll come for you next. Now, I don't know if he's speaking to, I think it's Lucky's the other player, or if he's actually speaking to the police officer. Because if he's speaking to the police officer, that's probably a federal offense. Uh, Charles, the, the officer said that was a real dick. Like, he, the cop actually wanted me to tell Charles that that was a dick move. He's like, you can tell him right now. Tell, tell Charles right now. That's a dick move. That was a dick move. On the hook. Hey! Oh, you 
almost saved me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, what this is, but... I don't, I don't know what so you're doing. Jay was a dick move, yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're in handcuffs, so I'm gonna take advantage of that. <laughs> like, the cop was so mad at Charles, the second that he left. This actually is a video game. See, I don't know at what point that the cop actually called his dispatch telling them that I think this may be a video game because he didn't say that around me. It may have been before I actually got to the door because of all the different like noises that I was making and, and actually talking to the to Charles and whatever. But yeah, 10-4, dispatch clarifies. <laughs> yeah, he asked me a bunch of personal questions like name, address. That's hilarious. No, that's gross. And I, t I totally understand why Charles did it. <laughs> like, when he got back to the precinct, he must have been like, what the fuck were those uh... kids doing? Playing video games and what kind of game is this? Oh my God, desensitization. <laughs> so... On the way out, he's like, what's that smell? I was like, oh no, you said you didn't care. Oh fuck, shit. So I go, well, so there's a little bit of cannabis that I got, you know, I work in a hydroponics shop, go get it. Oh shit. So I go to the next room and I pull out this little baggie of shit and it's just, crap it's not even good stuff and i show it to him and he's like really that that's all you got that little bit is making all of this stink and i was just like oh fuck i don't know what to do and i was like yes that's all i've got and he, he just, he, he looks at me and then starts walking away and says, flush it when I leave. <laughs> and he walks out my front door. Oh, it was like one of the scariest moments I have ever had. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and the rest of this video is just basically me recanting to buddies of what exactly happened to me. Hang on. I literally have myself on camera in handcuffs. Crazy shit, though. Absolutely nutters, bonkers, bananas, a ram of chocolate sauce all day long, up and down, lick it off. But totally one of the most freakishly scariest shit that i've ever had to happen because I, I literally thought i was gonna get shot at some point i mean this is canada i know but that's not the point the point is i felt threatened and i had no idea what the hell was happening and it turns out just one of my neighbors was like i need to make sure that that house is safe that um no one's actually dying in there which i guess is is a, is, a, is, a, is a good neighborly thing to do. And hopefully nothing like this ever happens again because once is good enough for me. So thanks for coming down a bit of memory lane with me and I will see you guys in the next video. Later, bitches.